Titty, how's it going? Jack and Jack here. The whole world, too. How's it going? The whole world, not just New York City. Uh, so this is our first Facebook Live in a while, and I think it's a, it's a long time coming, G. It's a long time we gotta coming. We got to get back into it, for real. We were in the London offices. We did one there, and then we did one in and Copenhagen. One. Yeah, in Copenhagen. Good times. It's been a minute. But so today's a very special day. It's uh, the final day of our pop-up tour that we've been going on. It is. We, we have, have. It's very unique, though. Because what? Because we have two shows today, and we've never had two shows in one city on the same exact day. But that's because, you know, New York City shows so much love. New York City shows all the love. They're just we amazing. Love it. I think we got some questions. I think we do. Okay, think, so... Right? Is it, yeah, these are questions. Yeah, first we're going to start it out with, how was filming the Gone movie in Nebraska? So for those of you who haven't seen it yet, uh, Gone is our new uh, long-form music video and yes. project. And it's a conceptual project, you know, that kind of follows the arc of a relationship. And uh, this filming in Nebraska, that was sick. It was really special. It was yeah. sick. Only, I mean, like, if you don't know, we're from Nebraska, so filming in our home state was really cool because it was something that we always wanted to do. We didn't know when the first music video we would do it, you know, when that would be. But uh, the fact that it happened to be a long form music video and told like a whole conceptual story, I thought was really cool. Yeah, and on top of that, every single extra and our love interests and the whole crew outside of the director, Emil. Shout out to Emil. Emil, he's from the London. Man. Um, everybody was from Nebraska, and so that made it that much more authentic, I feel like, and real. And yeah. yeah, it really just, I feel like that video will always hold a very special place in my heart because of the whole, uh, I guess, context around it. Yeah, um, okay, cool. next up we got, do you guys write songs together or separately? Well, always separately. Never write songs. No. <laughs> I was going to say. Wait, <laughs> we always write songs together, like always, literally yeah. every song. Uh, whether it's like, you know, obviously we usually start with the hook. I don't know why I said obviously. I don't know if that's that obvious. obvious. But we <laughs> start with the hook. Yeah. <laughs> Usually we start with the hook because we feel like the hook is a generic synopsis Ooh, of generic. what the whole song is about, basically. Because Johnson, he fits in like 200, 300 words into each verse. That's a, that's a complete guess. I don't know. We should. Someone should count. I don't yeah, know. Someone count. Let us know. But, uh, you know, he dives into the detail of everything that we're talking about. So we write the hook together. And, you know, I come up with some melodies. And then, and you know, I'll, I'll dive in on my own and write my verses, yes. and then I'll take them. G might be like, yo, this part, I, don't, I can't understand what you're saying. You're rapping too fast. Yeah, Maybe so I got to play devil's advocate. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got to, you know. everybody out there has the same music taste. Of course, and, of course. And so, you know, okay. sometimes I'll take what he says into account. Sometimes I'm just <laughs> it's like, like, nah, my craft. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's Which a very cohesive uh, process, no matter how you want to look at it. 100%. So. That was a really good question. Um... Can you explain the concept of Gone? And what was the inspiration? Ooh, okay. So the concept is an arc of relationship. Yeah, yeah, he talked about it a little bit. It's kind of like, I feel like this is a relationship where this girl is currently being, uh, it starts out with this, cur this girl's currently going through some stuff with her current man. And she's like, she's like not feeling him because he's just not treating her right, you know? And so that's where distraction comes in the first song. And you're like, let me be your distraction from, you know, all this bullshit going on in your life with this guy. You're just spinning away. Sorry, right? yo. They gave us these things in there. So fun. They're addicting. I'm just letting mine go in front of me. But basically, distraction is the first song, and so that's talking about you distracting her from her current man who's, you know, just not treating her how she Or thought. distracting from anything in the world that yeah. could be stressing just her. Just her problems out. in life, you, you know? know? Then falling, you know, is the falling stage where you're like, oh, goodness. Beginning I think, butterflies. I think I like this girl. And then yeah. you got last thing, and it's like, well, hold on. Don't say I love you. That's the last thing that I want. It's Don't say serious. those words. Yeah. And then once her... you say those words, it's past the point of no return, you know? It's like you're fully in love. Fully in love. You either end in. And then in once you're fully hurt. in love, then what comes? Yeah, you get hurt. You really get hurt nine times out of nine. It's true. You know, when you lose that honeymoon phase, you just start getting all angry with each other. I don't know. That's just how relationships go sometimes. That's how it goes sometimes. And, and then comes two cigarettes. Two cigarettes, my favorite person. Which is really just a kind of overlying metaphor for doing anything to alleviate the pain of this yeah. heartbreak that I guess you're going through. But what was the inspiration? I would say the inspiration came from multiple places. Obviously, some came from personal experiences. Others came from observing friends or just, you know, maybe other celebrities or, you know, just people that we see in the world every day. Or just, day. like, common human experience. Exactly. You know? Just, relate, like, something that people can really relate to because I think that's what... I think that's what people appreciate about this project is that there's a song for any point uh, of love that you're going through. Whether, it's, whether you're not even in love, whether you're falling out of love, it doesn't matter. There's something that you can, uh, I guess, find from it and get inspired Wait, from Wait, I just lost it. How do I, how do I get the you're question? The other oh, other okay. iPad. Okay, cool. Watch video? Let's refresh it, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh, the hearts. No, no, that's no, the video. No, we're watching. Okay. See, I'm not, I'm not getting the live just, stream. I think no. maybe just refresh our homepage. Oh, there we are. I can see Oh, that's us, us right there. Ooh, that's good. So guys, there's 750 of you in here right now, no way. which is amazing. I can just imagine you all in front of me right now. That's insane. And we want you guys to just keep sending in your questions, and we just want to, you know, let you know what you want to hear. Okay, Ariana wants to know, is there a place that you can always call home? Yeah, 
yeah. home, I would say. It's but like my hometown. The thing about home, though, is like, I don't think it's about the place. I think it's about the people you're with. Exactly. There you go. Okay, yeah. Home can be multiple places. I think but... if I'm with my family, whether it's, you know, at my house in town or on a vacation in Colorado, Good you know, where, where we would go every single winter growing up, I think that's what really feels like home to me. It's just being surrounded by those... Um, you I can call my family, whether it's friends or family, honestly. I would agree. I would agree. Good question. But, yeah, uh, I mean, if you're taking it literally, of course, Omaha. Yeah, that's definitely home, always. Um, what do you think about... Wait, uh, we, uh, Algeria. Fatima from Algeria. Oh, my gosh. Wow. You are tuning in. What time is it? I wonder what it, time right? it is, yeah. Well, wait, that's, that's... Where is Algeria? Wait, would you ever come I to the... I, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I Middle think. East? Would you ever come to the Middle East? I hear it's beautiful. Noha. Honestly. That's the coolest name I've never heard before, so... Yeah, we'll come. We're down. If you, if you give us, if you let us into your home and cook us a nice Middle Eastern meal. We it's would love 7 it. p.m.? 7 p.m. in Algeria? Yeah. Oh, wow. my gosh. So, I mean, like, she's skipping family dinner for us right now. Thank you. Shout out to you. We that pre- means a lot. She's probably got homework to do. Well, it's summer, but I don't know if it's summer there. You, you I don't, don't know. know with all these yeah. hemispheres and whatnot. When are you planning to come to Latin America? Again. We've been there one time. Uh, M- Maria... We're actually, we were just talking with our manager about doing a little tour down there, so... Yes. Yeah. Yes. South America, Latin America, just stay tuned, because, yeah, we're really trying to, uh... That was, like, really where the fans were just the craziest, man, down in South America. It For was just some amazing. reason, y'all have crazy passion. And don't get me wrong, love- this isn't this isn't to bag on any other fans, because your guys' passion everywhere is insane. It is. But I'm just saying, there's something in that South American water, in, in their blood. I don't know what it is, but they just are overly passionate, and it's... It's crazy. It's honestly scary sometimes, but like I love it. And at the no, same when you time. can get scared from like love, that's how you know it's real love. Damn. Uh, do you guys enjoy bars. listening to your own music? Of course. Yes. Well, it depends though. Like some of my old. Okay. When I hear like, like some of our very I'll first songs. I'll put on songs. like Paradise. I don't know if, who knows this song, but Paradise is a song we released way back when, and, and I, I mean, like, specifically I like it. this song. He just hates his first little like. I just cringe. Bit. You can tell I'm just an incompetent little bitch back then. You know, <laughs> just gotta. It's just true. I'm just nah, like scared nah, of my own nah. tone. You know, I'm But not, hey, that's progression. I'm shy. If you were amazing back then, then. Like, where could you go? I think the bars were there. You know, the messages, the lyrics, it was just exactly. my delivery. It's you know, I think it took you guys, the fans, really giving me confidence to, uh, you know, find myself in the booth. But, yeah. So, Taylor Richmond, thank you for your question. Yes, we do sometimes. Two but cigarettes is New project, listen to always listen to Gone. I'm always trying to plug that everywhere I go, you know. Shame Ashley to has to go sing her niece happy birthday. Kiss him on the forehead for me. Niece is a, is a, is a girl, huh? <laughs> okay, so kiss her. Like, there you go. Come on, right? You know, it sounds it's like, like basic <laughs> family knowledge. Dude, I don't know. I haven't like been in school. Like, I'm, my English is honestly like going out the door. Do you guys plan on coming back to Florida? Yes, Destiny. bro. Do you remember that Fort Lauderdale show we had? I do, I do. We, we parked pulled. in that parking lot, and I, I I snuck into that salon to go to the bathroom in the morning because you can't do that on the bus. That's not what I'm talking about at all. <laughs> but no, I, I mean it was my experience. Okay, okay. Like, I'm just talking about the show in general, like. Uh, we had to pull, I think, like, 25, oh, 30, show. 30 girls out of this, like, pit. It was, like, this deep pit, like, beneath us. Like, we were looking down on the... It was really crazy venue. Yeah, Kinda it was, weird. like, a 10-foot stage, but it was so such but a small... But then there was those girls, like, right there next to us. That, like, yeah, they were, like, on the stairs or something like that. But, yeah, so basically, that was crazy. It was super hot. It was humid. It was midsummer. No, that was probably in April. Regardless, it's Florida, so, you know, it's going to be humid. Wait, when was that? And, yeah, I swear, like, there was just girls and boys just dropping, like, frat... Just Dropping fries. like fries. Like fries, yeah, like some good old, <laughs> some good old crispy sweet potatoes. Hi, can you say that name? Um, Montserrat. Montserrat. Jonas. <laughs> Jonas. <laughs> He's coming Please to Mexico. Please, Jonas, we will. We actually... Wait, can we move it? Okay. We right. got to come for a proper show. We went there once for a quinceanera, which was like... Quinceanera was dope. Ever. Honestly, I've never felt cooler in my life performing at uh, Sophia's. Dude, they... Uh, Sophia? Sophia, uh, Sophie? Sophie, yeah. So she had all of her friends learn this dance. They were... She was her... 15th birthday, obviously, so Kinsa, all of yep. her friends were, you know, young 15-year-olds. And at the time, we were, like, 18, 19, maybe. Yeah, and so they we started, come. they started dancing to, like... Uh, well, no, we were just sound-checking, right? So we're sound-checking well, yeah, okay, for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Quinceanera. And then this song, Tides, comes on. And I'm telling you, like, there's probably 30 Mexican girls and 30 Mexican boys. They like, all come out. Perfectly dressed up, like, ready to go. Just looking dapper as all hell. I'm telling you, these guys were stunting on the game. Um, and they all pair up with their, you know, respective other... And they start dancing this beautiful choreographed dance during sound check. Keep in mind, uh, to tides, and like nobody's I, even there. They're I've just never felt cooler up. in my life. No. You know? I was like, what? They, like, they choreographed a whole. They dance. really like put time and effort into learning this dance. Like it was crazy. So you could tell out. they were hitting all the moves, and they were like proud to know the moves, and it was cool. It was just awesome. So yes, months, months. Montserrat Jonas. Yes, we're gonna come to Mexico for again. a proper show. You know yes, that um, everybody can get into. Uh, Ireland was amazing. Sarah Sass wants to know when we're coming back to Ireland. Yeah, Dublin was Dublin like was insane. Highlight. That was the craziest show of that entire run, I remember. 
we were, it talk, was, we were it talking about really crazy. Yeah, the decibel like level hype. was what 127 or something. Something like that, dude. Way too high for like anything humanly impossible. Yeah, something crazy. Um, let's see, let's see, keep going. Ooh, what, what was that? Like writing that she had was really cool. By the way, if anyone knows any tricks, I would love to learn. I'm still, what, what I'm still can you, like what tricks are there? I'm just I just go between the fingers. That's between all. Between the do. fingers is cool. And even then, I still mess up. I don't know, but like, can someone do like a? We saw what everyone in this room saw what he was doing earlier. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not like that's that's like junior level. That's novice. That's novice. When writing all your new songs, uh, how did you think it was going to help people or make them think some sort of way? All um, Alondra, Alondra. Yeah, you know, I think. Well, there's specifically a song we haven't put out yet that I think a lot of people will like gain inspiration from. Yes, and be that song by. is crazy. I already know what you're talking but, about. With the Gone Project, you know, I think this song just helps people cope with whatever they're feeling at the time um, with their significant other, honestly. I yeah, feel obviously this, this project is specifically conceptually about a relationship. Yeah, and, it, you know, it lets you know that life goes on post-breakup, you know. But not people, every song that we put out in the future is going to be about a girl or even a relationship. Oh, it could, I mean, like, there's so don't many. Worry. The song that you're talking about is, yeah. like. It's funny, though. I don't want people thinking that just from this project that Jack and I are just these, like, guys always in our feels. Like, you know, just no. these emotional, like, emo kids. <laughs> no. It's just, it's not the case. It's not you know? us. We like having fun, too, so just keep we your eyes out for the fun songs, you know. It's, you, gotta, you gotta have the contrast, though. You can't just be one-ended. You gotta be versatile. We're gonna take two more questions. Two more questions? I'm moving from Italy to USA in a month. No way. Any tips? First off, it looks like your English is good. That'd be my first tip, is learn English. Uh, tip just only has one P, though. That's, uh, that's only it. Yes, okay, yeah. So that's a tip. Just tip as one. Piece. But I mean, nobody really cares about spelling. No, yeah, it's fine. Anyway. The grammar is uh, whatever. You Alisa, Alisa, honestly, I would say, um, whatever you come here to do, stay focused on that. I mean, you know, t go the route that life wants you to take, but just stay focused and be yourself and don't change. And I'm just telling you, USA is crazy. the Italian food is not going to be as good here. Just yeah, let not. you know. No matter how much you We have know. amazing other food, though. Yeah, of course. So and there is, ama there is amazing Italian. But yeah, but nothing like Italian, paper moon. Italian. Imagine, like, her mom's home cooking meals. Oh, like, my God. Oh. My goodness. All right, last question. Wait, so I think we just got to stop randomly. I'm seeing you in the city today. And, Johnson, am I getting my $200 today? I have the DMs to prove it. Why would you ever... I don't think that's... 200 for what? If I <laughs> ask... Wait, what? <laughs> now I have to... Wait, I have to pay? I mean, if you prove to me that I said I would give you $200, I will. If you have Venmo. I'm cashless right now, but I got you. <laughs> or Cash App. I just got that. Yeah, have, yeah Venmo. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what... Oh, ooh, I think I know what it, it was. So I was like, if anybody could rap my verse in... What was it in, bro? Uh, oh, if anybody can rap my verse in the I'm on one rich girl that. mashup. Oh, wow, 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 wow. The you ain't ready for the big time. Keep it humming on chin strap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run the globe when he got knows where I'm going to end at. Top yeah. dog, yeah, I've been there. Okay, but did so. she do it to the same BPM? I think so. Uh, I don't know, so. Because that... But if you come to me and show me the video, I remember I was like, if anybody can do that, I'll give you $200. Real shit. Like, without fucking up. So if you come shit. to me, show me the video, show me the DMs, then, you know, I might have to do what I have to do. I might have, have to. to. All right, last question. I'm a man of my word. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Like, I need an actual question. These are all just like statements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here, do uh, Any ideas for new tattoos? Oh yeah, what do you think? Any ideas for new tattoos? Uh, I have this idea that I want to get with my sisters, but they're both very not tattoo girls. Yeah, they're not tattoo girls, but I'm gonna make them, and it's gonna happen, and you'll see. I promise. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Um, one of my sisters really wants to. One, one of them is like too professional. Show them the most recent. Well, most recent, can you even see that? What, that one? Oh, that's the one. Yeah, that's our area code going right down his arm. You can see that, maybe. Can you? Just a little delay. Give it a second. I got this one. It says, the good uh, life. It says the good life. It's uh, when you're driving into Nebraska from any angle. It says, any state line. Welcome to Nebraska. Through any state line, it says welcome to Nebraska, dot, 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 the good life. So I found a Google image of that sign and just got it on the back of my arm. And yeah, I think people from Nebraska really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys do too now that you know the backstory. Yes. Thank you guys so much for all your questions. Sorry Thank you that guys. had to be the last question. I, I had fun. I think we should do this more. Yeah, let us know if you guys enjoyed this. You know, keep leaving comments. I know you can keep commenting after the video is already out. So let us know if you guys enjoyed this, yeah. if we should make this a weekly thing, if we should come back and do more of these, because I had a good time. I had a good time. I, I wish we had, like, this professional setup in our house. Right? right? Maybe we got to just invest a little bit. We got to do it for Facebook. Just set a room aside. Can I keep this? Yes. Oh, are you serious? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys, we'll see you soon. New York, we cannot wait for the shows tonight. And if you're coming, be loud and um, be safe. This is Jack and Jack. Pass out. Signing off. Adios. Peace.